prayers ignite forgiveness. Have you been hurt by someone so deeply that you have become resentful, bitter, and broken? It is possible to forgive a friend who spread lies. Is it possible to forgive a friend who spread lies about you? Forgive an abusing father? Forgive someone who murdered a loved one? Can you do that? Can we do that? Forgiveness is easier said than done. However, the Bible identifies people who forgive one another, which has been an inspiration for us. Joseph forgave his brother for selling him into slavery in Genesis 50 verse 20. Stephen forgave those who stoned him for preaching the word in Acts 7 verse 60. Jesus forgave his persecutors while hanging on the cross. He said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing in Luke 23 verse 34. Jesus said, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sin, your Father will not forgive your sin. Matthew 6 verse 14 and, 6, and 15. Yes, forgiving, forgiving others is a necessary part of what it means to be a Christian. However, forgiveness is very hard. It is natural to want someone else to pay for the pain they have caused you. One day, a man, let's call him Jim, Jim came to tell his pastor how he was abused by his neighbor when he was a child and how his parents never expressed their understanding and love to him. But only recently, Jim had been praying to God and talking to a, past, a chaplain friend and two close friends were also praying with him daily daily they pray that God will help Jim to let go of his bitterness and the past. The Holy Spirit filled Jim's heart as he worked on him slowly, consistently. Finally, he was able to go to his parents and reunite with them. Yes, Prayer ignites forgiveness, for we will receive power from our heavenly Father to have a change of heart and let go our hurt and to forgive, reminding ourselves how God has forgiven us in Christ Jesus when we didn't even deserve it. He can help us to forgive others these two Bible promises can help us always depend on God to give us the grace and the love to forgive. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Philippians 4 verse 13. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Roman 12 verse 21. Pray for power to forgive, but also pray for the person who hurt you. In Matthew 5 verse 44, Jesus commands us to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Ask God to reveal his, his love to off to your offender in your heart and for him to dissolve the bitter negative feelings. Indeed, prayer has power. Constant prayers can ignite change, hope, unity, and forgiveness in our lives. 
and in our church. Let's not neglect this daily communication with our Heavenly Father. For prayer is the master key to a con continued pursuit of holiness of life in Christ Jesus. Do you desire to let God ignite change in you? Will you pray today for hope, unity, and forgiveness in your life? Are you willing to commit or recommit our daily connection with God? Whatever, goes going on, whatever is going on in your life, do not give up. Pray, pray, God is always listening. Pray, pray, our Father will come through. Do not give up. Ignite your prayer life. Amen.